So Lumina has been out for a while now, and I know I'm late on this, but last week me and my girlfriend went out for 4th of July with her family, and I had almost no time to record. So now that I'm back, let's get on to this Lumina quest guide. So in order to unlock Lumina, you will need to go to where you got Thorn the first time in the EDZ. All the way in the back, there's going to be a chest that looks like a little safe. At least I remember it looked like a safe. Loot it and you'll get the system's positioning device, which will have a location in any planet. I got the excavation site 2 on IO, but most likely you'll get another location. I'm not going to do a video on all the locations because fuck that noise, but once you do get all that chest that you need, you will get the bear of evil's past, which is basically judging yours original thorn. On a side note, I think this is a really cool fucking, like... This is pretty awesome, lore, like, lore-wise, like, it's really cool, but other than that, let's just get back to the video. You'll have to generate 250 orbs of light to neutralize the thorn's intrinsic darkness. Easy enough if you have, like, guns that, have, that are masterworked or supers. If you're having a really hard time with this, you can just jump from event to event in, um, in the world, and you can grab the flags. You, um, those flags will give you super and ammo. Use your super, get all the orbs generated, and then you can go back like to another area and then go back to the to the flag and get it. If you're having a really tough time with it, do what I did and just go to um, the blind well. Blind well was amazing for this, so I actually, you should go to blind well. Fuck the other one, go to blind well. After all those lights are generated, you will have rows with no perks on it, but you do have three new quests that will unlock your perks. First one is Band Together, which means complete a nightfall with 50,000 points. This one is not only simple, but you can solo it easily. I just, I just did Strange Terrain, but you can do any of them. Next step is complete 35 points worth Blindwell, Black Armory Forges, or Escalation Protocol. On, honestly, just do Blindwell. It's easy and fast, especially when you get a full team running it. It's... Black Armory and Escalation Protocol is not even worth it in my opinion unless you want the Escalation Protocol weapons or you're farming Black Armory for some reason. The last step is Defend the Light which has you get 100 kills without reloading. If you are anything but a hunter, use Barricade or Lunification Boots with high magazines like Sweet Business or any Assault Rifle and bam done. My dumbass used the Rose for this part, I don't know why, but you can use literally anything. Once you're done with that, you will get Fireteam Leader, which is where you will most likely spend the majority of your time. Unless you have friends who actually play this game, like I don't, so I had to do this by myself, which sucked ass. But this part of the quest has you do activities with fire teams full of roses. I ended up doing a fuck ton of Crucible for this because I knew some people would be doing it, but because this is so late, I would almost suggest some, anything else other than Crucible, to be honest. You can do Strikes, Menagerie, honestly, this part wasn't hard, it was just the part that I took most of my time. Also don't forget to look in the in the LFR or Bungie's uh, fire team, uh, find fire team thing. Uh, it's honestly the Menagerie is probably going to be the one that people are going to be doing the most for that. So this step might be a bitch for those who aren't into pvp strength in numbers has you kill guardians with hand cannons note that you do not need to use the rose for this part thankfully since i ended up using the Ostringer. so this quest step wasn't hard at all considering my first match i ended up getting 55 percent like on my first match so it'll take it'll it won't take you that long next step you have to do is generate 50 orbs which is so simple that we'll just go to the last step. And this is the one where it took me forever to do because you have to kill an invader before they kill anyone in Gambit. This step is, I think is worded poorly or I ended up just having this step glitch out on me because I swore I killed the invader before he killed anyone else. But on further research, I found out that you have to get the medal not on my watch, which means you have to kill an invader within 10 seconds of them invading. So, really annoying, but after you're done with that, you're almost done. 
The last step is just do the Will of a Thousand Strike on Mars. Choose it from the map. You don't need to choose it from the Strike playlist. You'll see some crystals, crystals floating. You need to shoot them with rows. Don't worry about the amount of crystals since there's more than 11. So just get your 11 and move on. Don't shoot anymore. Let the other people get it. Once you get your 11 crystals, you'll have to kill Zal. And once that's done, you will get the Lumina. That's literally it. And this is how you get Lumina. Not gonna lie, this hand cannon was a bit more tedious than I would have liked it. But overall, this is a fun gun. I will be reviewing the Lumina in the next video, most likely. But for now, let me know what you guys think about the quest steps. Did you like them? Did you hate them? I honestly think they weren't that bad. I see a lot of people who are like, yeah, this quest step, these quest steps were like mad fucking crazy. And it's like, nah, not really, dog. Like, this was, honestly, this wasn't that bad. Like, most people are just blowing it out of proportion. Like, even, even the last step, which was kill the invader, it took me like three, four matches, but only because... I had no heavy, I had no no nothing, so like I'm trying to kill someone with my primary and they're just mowing me down with fucking uh, an LMG, so it's, in my opinion, it wasn't hard, it was very fun, and I think the majority of people are just saying it took a while because of the PvP parts, because honestly, they weren't that hard, but that's just my opinion, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.